Hello, I'm Yu. My morning routine begins with being woken up by my iPhone alarm every day. As someone who loves sleeping, getting up early can be quite challenging, but I believe that the extra time in the morning is precious, especially on days with many tasks ahead. Waking up early brings a sense of calm to my mind. I always take a bath or shower in the morning. The reason is that when I wake up, I often feel like my blood circulation is poor and my eyes don't fully open. Every morning, I make sure to create some time to pray and interact with my cat, who is always up before me without fail. This prayerful time with him helps shake off my drowsiness. Just witnessing his innocent and lively presence instantly dispels my morning fatigue and my heart feels warm and content. This moment in the morning is truly special to me. He is now two years old. His body seems a bit small, but he is a Scottish fold boy. When he was a kitten, he was incredibly cute. He was so cute that I thought he might be the cutest cat in the world. Of course, he is still cute now. When it comes to my cat foods, I provide nutritionally balanced options. I always refill and use this convenient bag for storing the food. I avoid overfeeding my cat to prevent health issues from weight gain. However, I don't believe in strict weight management either, as it can be stressful for the cat. Thus, I don't engage in such practices. I make sure to change the water and provide clean water at all times. After all, just like humans, cats deserve clean drinking water. I'm quite thin myself, so I don't look very appearing at all. Gaining weight is really difficult for me. I play with the cat even when I'm taking a bath and he's curious about many things. He's truly an adorable cat. He has very laid back personality and sleeps a lot, but my cat loves people a lot. He's very friendly even with the people he meets for the first time. Many Japanese men tend to style their hair. I'm one of them, and I believe that men styling their hair is akin to women putting on makeup. Because of that, I don't feel like going outside unless I've styled my hair. For instance, I'm a bit peculiar in that I don't want to go even to the convenience store next to my house without setting my hair with hair wax. That's how much I dislike my natural egg-shaped head and hairstyle. The hair wax and hairspray I use are as follows. Both are hard types designed to firmly style the hair. They aren't very moisturizing, so preference might vary among individuals. Once my hair is styled, I usually feel a bit relaxed, so I always have a cup of tea. I really love tea. I think there are very few people who dislike tea. And while I'm drinking tea, I engage in English conversation. This is necessary for me to overcome my struggles with English, and I'm learning American pronunciation. English is truly challenging for me. Not only grammar, but also vocabulary is something I don't know much about, and pronunciation is quite difficult. Those of you watching my video right now are probably surprised by how bad my English pronunciation is. Still, thank you very much for watching my video. Actually, I used to have a hard time eating vegetables. Lately, I've been able to overcome this aversion and can eat them. However, not just vegetables. I prefer to drink something that provides nutrients more efficiently than eating vegetables. I drink something called essential green, which is like a powder form of leaves mixed with water every day. Since I started drinking this, I feel like I've become more energetic. Also, I don't eat a lot of food, but I do drink protein. 
It's not for building muscle. I drink protein mainly to get nutrients. Since I have a sweet tooth, I prefer a cocoa flavor. It's really delicious. I used to think that protein was only meant for building muscle. But that was a big misconception. Protein contains a lot of nutrients. Especially protein that focuses on nutrient intake is said to be very efficient for improving overall health. Since I started consuming this protein, I've noticed improved energy in my mornings. However, these protein supplements tend to be the pricer side. I make sure to throw away the garbage every day without fail. Keeping the house clean and not letting garbage accumulate is important. I read in the book that maintaining a garbage-free environment in the home actually increases productivity. Where I live, there is a designated garbage disposal area, so I go there every day to dispose of the trash. Typically in Japan, the garbage collection days are determined by the area you live in. However, in my apartment complex, there is a designated place to dispose of garbage within the building, which is very convenient. Moreover, my apartment complex is inhabited not only by Japanese residents, but also by many foreigners. This results in various types of garbage, some of which I've never seen before. Occasionally, there are people who don't properly separate combustible and non-combustible trash or plastics, so I'm careful to make sure I separate my garbage correctly. Since I require a lot of equipment for filming, new things arrive at my house almost every day. This time, my partner saw me tired from video editing and got me a new mouse. It's really user-friendly and stylish, becoming my favorite mouse. As you know, I'm a photographer and videographer, so I own a lot of camera equipment. Camera gear is like treasure to me, so I clean and check their condition every day. Currently, I'm using the Sony Alpha 7 R5 for my shots. I also use their Alpha 7 III and Alpha 7 C. I have several lenses as well, but lately, I've been using the G Master telephoto lens and the wide angle lens more often. I love using equipment that allows me to capture shots not achievable with regular lenses or cameras. In that sense, Insta360 is one camera that greatly interests me. Actually, I am becoming a member of Team Insta360, and I'd be delighted if I could have more people around the world discover the uniqueness and excellence of Insta360 cameras. I'll introduce my camera gear in more detail in a separate video. For me, an indispensable part of my morning routine is cleaning. Cleaning makes me feel great, and having a clean environment at home is crucial in daily life, I believe. Also, since I have a cat, cleaning up cat hair is a must. Cats are incredibly adorable, but if you want to have a cat, you need to accept the challenges of cleaning. Cat hair is really soft and lightweight, so it flies everywhere. I believe that the equipment I use for photography should be kept clean. In fact, many sports professionals are known to value and take care of their own equipment. I pay respect to the photography equipment I use and make it point of clean it daily. I need to clean not only my camera equipment, but also my desk, floor, and various places. However, with thorough cleaning, it creates a wonderful living environment not only for us humans, but also for cats, 
so I'm sure the cats are happy too. Sometimes, I receive questions about whether owning a cat makes cleaning difficult. However, I find myself a bit puzzled by that question. That's because having a cat truly brings me comfort through their endearing nature. The time spent playing with him, watching him eat, all of it is really precious to me. I find real joy in spending time with him. So cleaning up cat hair or maintaining the litter box doesn't feel like a hustle to me at all. In fact, these are just normal parts of my routine. Cleaning takes time and can be tiring, especially during the hot summer when you sweat a lot. But I enjoy cleaning. The book that explained how cleaning enhanced work efficiency had many convincing points. Firstly, reducing dust allows us to breathe in fresh air, improved blood circulation, and enhanced focus. Moreover, there is research suggesting that working in a crowded space makes it difficult to come up with new ideas. Hence, minimalism is often recommended, and the significance of cleaning and organizing is emphasized in the book. While I don't intend to blindly accept everything from the book, I do feel a sense of well-being when I clean. Additionally, I find that my ability to concentrate is prolonged. Among my morning routine, my favorite time is the cleaning time. It's really satisfying to see dirt getting removed. However, cleaning during the summer is truly really challenging, and I end up sweating a lot. Turning on the air conditioning would help, but with Japan's rising electricity costs, I'm trying to minimize its usage to save on electricity expenses. Japan is a country where taxes are incredibly high, even though salaries aren't increasing. I sometimes wonder if there is a future for Japan. Moreover, many young people believe that there is no future in Japan. Perhaps it's because many people are struggling in really tough work environments. To change one's circumstances, one has to put in the effort themselves. But I believe many people don't know what steps to take. In my opinion, I hope people can remember what they used to love. If they are unsure, I hope they can find things they genuinely enjoy. I'm confident that something that makes you excited just by thinking about it can definitely be found. For thing that is what I consider important. For some reason, the balcony always gets dirty quickly, probably because the sun is blowing in from outside. That's why I always clean the balcony floor. Japanese summers are really hot, so I don't spend much time on the balcony during summer. However, during spring and autumn, when it's cooler, I enjoy spending time on the balcony. So keeping the balcony clean is very important to me. When I step out onto the balcony and find it dirty with sand, it really makes me feel sad so I make an effort to clean it regularly. After all, I want to breathe in the refreshing outdoor air and maintain a clean environment. Summer cleaning can be truly challenging, but due to these reasons, I am determined to keep up with it. By the way, why is the summer in Japan so hot? Where do you all live? Is summer cool in your country? I also wish I could visit various countries. I really want to travel the world. After the cleaning is done, I have my breakfast. Normally, when you think of a morning routine, it might involve filming a video of making breakfast, but this is the curry I made last night. I love curry, but I'm not a fan of spicy curries. Maybe I have a childish palate. In other words, I prefer sweeter curries. Do you all prefer spicy or sweet curries? Perhaps many people prefer slightly spicy curries over sweet ones. Especially those living in India might enjoy spicy flavors, I guess.
in Japan, they say curry tastes better if you eat it the day after it's made. I think that's true. I don't know why. But I've loved eating curry that been left overnight since I was a child. Do you have curry in your country? I wonder what people eat abroad. I'd love to hear about the delicious food in your country in the comments. If you could share multiple types of food in your comment, that would be fantastic. Whenever I have a meal, there's always a cat nearby, so it somehow feels very cozy and homely. I really like this atmosphere. Don't you think it's really soothing? My cat never eats human food. He's very smart and well behaved. However, he seems curious about what humans are eating, so I often let him sniff the food's aroma. Still, he never tries to eat human foods. Once I finish breakfast, I immediately wash the dishes. I don't like letting unwashed dishes pile up. I try to wash the dishes right after finishing my meal. Perhaps I want to maintain a clean and tidy environment as much as possible. Also, if you leave the dishes unwashed, small insects start appearing. Japan has a lot of tiny bugs like fruit flies. In that sense, it's important to wash them right away. Thanks for watching this morning routine video. It might have been a really boring video, but this is my real morning routine. Come to think of it, there is something I need to express my gratitude for to all of you. About a week ago, you watched my video about my past and left heartwarming comments. Thank you so much for that. After posting that video, I received numerous messages on Instagram. There were around 200 messages. So I couldn't reply to all of them, but every single one was filled with warmth. I felt truly comforted by your kind comments and messages. Making that video was emotionally challenging, but seeing your response made me feel like it was a worthwhile endeavor. So, to all of you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I would be really happy if you continue to support me in the future as well. I will be posting various videos, so please subscribe, like, and comment on my channel. Well, see you soon.